Bet one, bet them all. This is Sprawl and Colin. I'm your host, C-Rich. Today I would like to discuss the thoughts, views, and opinions of people who aren't educated in MMA. Uh, I had a very good uh, discussion today with one of the most knowledgeable people that I know. Uh, he's roughly uh, in his early 50s. And uh, one of the things that sparked it was uh, he's very interested in the sport. However, he only sees it something as uh, violence. Uh, one of the things some people don't understand is when with MMA, it's a sport. Some people don't see it as that. And I just wasn't clearly uh, um, able to comprehend a lot of it. You know, you got you got these guys that are coming up from boxing and, you know, they still do see boxing as a sport. However, they just think that everyone that steps into the cage is, uh, you know, someone who likes to fight. That's not always the case. Uh, I'd always say it's maybe 50% of the people who do step into the cage. Uh, the other 50% are people who are natural athletes um, and everyone's had a scuffle or two throughout their life. Most of us, anyway. Uh, it's really just a building block, just like any other uh, attribute that you'd want to gain, whether it's playing football, soccer, a.k.a. football, uh, you know, hockey. It's still, it's a sport, and people just uh, of the older uh, generations don't completely understand the whole concept. It's still a uh, gladiator fight to the death in their eyes. And uh, I, I can I don't necessarily uh, completely agree with that. I do, however, understand their uh, their feelings and uh, you know expressions towards it. Because yes, all you ever see on the news or you know anything of someone who doesn't look up something specifically MMA, it is a negative you know attribute of uh, of of someone you know carrying out an act. Unfortunately. A lot of people don't see that it is uh, mental, mentally and physically building. Um, just you specifically being dedicated to something or just having a specific hobby that you know that you're really good at uh, completely can change who you are. Uh, I mean, I, I know one thing with me, uh, you know, I, I've been skateboarding for about 12 years. Uh, I'm not Tony Hawk. But it's something that I do truly love, and when I go and do complete, or you know, even if I hurt myself at a skate park or anything like that, I still always come out with a, a self-confidence boosting factor of just me being more confident in who I am, what I think, what I know. Uh, it just it builds you as a person, and that's that's mainly what a lot of these MMA fighters get, as well as athletes nowadays. Uh, even if you're not making money, you know, playing. Uh, you know, in a, in a home league or, you know, even the, the AHL, even though you're getting something, but it's still, it's, it's more of a self-motivating factor to make you a better person and have a better uh, persona of life. And unfortunately, just a lot of people haven't uh, realized what MMA does for a lot of fighters and how it does make them better people. You know, there's guys coming out of prison and, you know, everyone is, you know, Jesus lovers and everything, you know, they want to do everything right when they come out of prison. And, you know, maybe they're more prone to violence. And MMA is the way for them to release their anger and, you know, what they need to, to do to you know, make them feel as a whole. And that is uh, a self-therapy. Yeah, I mean, it is what it is. Uh... I don't condone in violence. I don't believe it. I don't believe in it. Um, however, sometimes necessary things are, are what they have to be, but everything can be taken care of in a professional manner. Uh, it's a sport, and it, uh, it makes people better. It, it makes people better as a whole. But, uh, hey, thanks, guys, for getting all the way through. Uh, please like the page, subscribe to the channel. Please don't forget to check out SprawlOnCall.com. We have a new addition to our crew, Mr. Eugene. He is uh, one of the top analysts uh, and uh, people with with current news. The guy is great. He, uh, he's very knowledgeable, and uh, 
I wish I had some of his skills. But hey, until next time, guys, uh, please don't forget to check out my previous predictions of uh, UFC Fight Night 66 going down to the Philippines this Saturday. And uh, don't blow your bankrolls. Always have fun. And I'll see you next time.